Okay. Hey, I'm watching just another accuracy diagnosis. Accurate diagnosis. I added an extra S to that one. House MD a couple of years ago. And I was letting some things process in my subconscious white brain matter. And it hit me as I was walking outside. The, <laughs> the odd behavior, of course, if I had thought about this some time ago, I could have made this video back then, but I had to wait <laughs> because I had to wait for it all to unfold. So I could then point to it and say, hey, yeah, that's the uh, symptoms and here's the cause. It's more of a side note to what I'm doing right now, really. <clears throat> Let's something or another about this thing, this virus, that everyone keeps calling COVID-19. But its real name is the Pac-Man virus. Because that's what Satan decided to call it when he made it. Now... Those of you, the astute amongst you, um, including viewers of um, Dr. Chris Martinson's uh, Peak Prosperity coverage of the virus and its genetic what the fuckery, you will notice quite clearly that what I'm about to say has a basis in reality because of the receptor protein bindings on the surface of the Pac-Man virus which increased its gain of function to go through nearly any cell in the human body most predominantly for the purpose of this video the focus will be nearly exclusively on its infiltration of the central and peripheral nervous system via its protein receptors and the subsequent effects thereof, which in layman's terms is basically, um, has anyone watched the BBC's Red Dwarf episode titled Epidemic? This virus hijacks your neurology. Brilliant, isn't it? So it's it's making everyone act um, much more pronounced, more prominently, as if they were a wild animal. It's degrading your higher cognitive functionality. That's why um, Upper Echelon Gamers covered this in a video in the past few days. He was showing, or was it the past few weeks? Either way, he was showing that um, TikTok videos or entire hospital staffs were out and in, in the front of the hospital dancing and it was a shit show. Quite sufficiently to say, the virus gets into your central nervous system, hijacks your cognitive functionality through these wondrous little alterations when it unpacks its viral genetic packet and starts replicating inside your brain. So it has this nice little effect I'm not familiar with <clears throat> all the details there which I would need to know the entire structure of the DNA and all of the different um, uh, base pair sequences 
that line up to form various proteins when it's running through your mRNA encoding system inside each individual cell and how it generates whatever protein that uh, folds up into whatever shape that generates whatever chemical within your neurochemistry that has this effect. I would need to know a vast myriadic plethora of details, which I don't, but I knew way back when, when I was subcontracted by Satan to help him, well, to give him a second opinion of some baseline functionalities. And, well, leading on from that, we have this wondrous little Pac-Man virus that is uh, migrating from various tissues within the body into the central and peripheral nervous system, into the spine and the brain, where the only way to detect it is to do uh, a spine tap, lumbar puncture, or uh, what's that word? Uh, not a lobotomy. It's the other thing where they take a sample. I forgot what the goddamn word was in the medical terminology. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Idiot katana strikes again. Now, you may not choose to believe this, but the virus is designed to turn all of you humanity into zombies. Now, the type of zombie you will turn into, whether it's the version of uh, crack addicts that Satan was very well familiar with, or the version that you shove down mainstream media culture's throats with the, the, the walking dead, etc., etc. I'm quite, I don't know, curious. Um, I'm quite opinionated in what type of zombie I want you all to be turned into. Because Satan posed to me the question, why don't we just give these bitches the zombie apocalypse that they're stroking and jerking themselves to? And I said, yes. Now, do keep in mind, you are all in the dimension of reality you would call hell. Second bottom most layer. The only deeper than this is just a black nothing. I've been there. There's nothing there. Now, uh, some other things. Where do I begin with these other things? <clears throat> uh, believe it or not, I don't care. You, you can believe whatever the fuck you want. <clears throat> Quite simply, there's the truth of it. The virus is made specifically to turn all of humanity into fucking zombies. Dare I say, it's working quite well. <clears throat> now, for those of you who... Uh, let's see, what words should I choose... Because I have to choose words very carefully right now. For those of you who still want to earn your way out of hell, stop giving a fuck about what the virus is doing. It, it's designed to be sentient, cognizant, conscious, self-aware. <laughs> Just like the Epidemic Virus from that episode of Red Dwarf. <clears throat> so, um, if you really want out of hell, you're gonna have to earn it. Because my job doesn't extend here in hell. I mean, I can 
pass a much harsher judgment and I can rework things with your karmic spreadsheet to get you instant karmic gratification to the debt you owe. But it's Satan you have to worry about because you're in hell. You're his property. You're his toy, not mine. So, in hell, you have a much, well, much is a very soft word to use. You have an extremely strict set of karmic guidelines that you have to follow to earn your way out of hell. Don't believe me? I don't care. It's not my fucking job. I used to care when I wrote letters to companies explaining, hey, I see problems here. Let's fix them this way. And when I wrote letters to the Supreme Court telling them, hey, here's how your laws are in violation of your core values and whatnot and how you're committing high treason daily. Yeah, this is relevant because the virus is being used to exacerbate exacerbate um, to make larger than it um, appears to be not superficially of course because you're in hell but the virus is being used to make the problems in your limited perception as big as they are in real life basically it's being used as a pair of glasses because you're all blind to show you how fucked society really is globally. So, you, you, if you want to earn your way out of hell, you got to start um, earning it. You got to quit being a bitch. Yeah, you got to stop giving a fuck about so many things that you care about, like money and sports and and news and you got to start using introspection to psychoanalyze yourself and ask yourself the questions why the fuck do i think the way i think and how is it not neutral if you start from a neutral perception of existence it'll be more realistic in your mind and you won't imagine all these fancy things like the Easter Bunny and uh, Christmas, which is a pagan holiday. And, and you associate it with my past life. It's really insulting, but I just laugh at it because I'm not insulted. There's a myriad of other things and uh, the branches going off from the core subject matter into uh, parallel thought processing. It's all relevant. It's all relative. But the basics is you, you need to start with introspection. If you really give a fuck about getting out of hell, about getting out of this bullshit situation... And not becoming a mindless zombie husk to be destroyed when Satan comes back and decides he's had enough fun laughing at you all. Then you're going to have to do some serious introspection and analyze yourself. But that's for those of you who give a fuck. And for those of you who don't. If, if you're just wanting to laugh and watch the world burn, have fun with that. Do whatever the fuck you want. And with this information or not, you know, you could just completely fucking ignore it. Not my call. I may be one of the co-creators of the system you call karma. And it is a real system. It is a series of real laws. Unlike your observations of what you think is how physics works, but I'll, 
I'll save that for later. But in all seriousness, if you give a fuck, just don't bother trying to go and point out to someone else how they're wrong. Worry about yourself. Or as you idiots who love the, all the nonsense that you call the Bible, take a story from my past life that you enjoy so much. Two idiots are there. One's got a moat in his eye and the other's got a fucking stick in his eye. And the one with the stick in his eye can't see well enough and he's trying to pluck the moat of dust out of the other guy's eye. It's a parable, a metaphor. Basically, it means get yourself right before you try to even think about getting someone else right. And don't point fingers at me because... I'm not here because I have a problem. I'm not here because I did something wrong. Satan and I came here some time ago to fix problems that you, humanity, were creating for everyone else outside of hell. Whether you believe that truth or not is irrelevant. It's irrelevant to your personal growth as a living being. It doesn't help you in the goddamn slightest. And yes, I, the being you call God, use the word God as a fucking joke, which it really is, because it's not a word that means anything. It's not a title. It's not even a name. It's a fantasy. Like all religion. What really matters is what drives you to do what you do. Why you think how you think, and the perception, or the filters of perception through which you focus your attention to build your reality of your own existence. That's what really matters. So, for those of you who give a fuck, don't fucking pray. Neither Satan nor I are listening. We haven't been listening for quite some time. We don't fucking care. Because 90% of all human prayers consisted of make my dick bigger and get my pussy fucked. It's sickening to hear that shit. But another thing. <clears throat> if it gets, and I'm pretty sure it will get to a point where... Satan will flip a little switch inside the virus, the Pac-Man virus, and it'll make all of humanity a hive-minded entity. And you will all see into each other's minds, each other's memories, and you will see how corrupt and how perverse and how much of a piece of shit each and every last one of you really are. And that's the only thing you'll ever focus on. Because that's the only thing you've ever focused on. And it's fucking sickening. I suppose I should wrap this up. Because I've given a good deal of information. Believe it or don't, I don't fucking care. It's not my job to make you believe a single fucking thing. Never was. Despite what you believe. I've got my own fucking life to live. Even after I lost it in, in my previous lifetime. Got my own fucking life to live. Got my own fucking problems to worry about. And so does Satan. And so does every last so-called angel and demon in all of existence. They're not going to watch over your ass 24-7. Only your corrupt and perverse governments will do that. Because they're sick. Just like your minds are. When I look into them. And I see nothing but a load of shit. So. 
I've stopped looking into a lot of people's minds because I'm sick of seeing shit. Uh, I suppose I could go on a spiel about uh, how I uh, basically pushed the reset button on myself and start it all over again, but maybe I'll save that for later. <clears throat> I've got my own fucking life. So does Satan, he always has. What you do is your fucking business to attend to. If you care about anything I've said, if you believe it or not, that's your fucking business to attend to. So attend to it. However the fuck you want. <laughs>